You think I'm capable of murdering you, let alone getting the jump on you? <laughs> you could try. Down here. My God, oh, Oshan. I hope I wouldn't announce <laughs> my, I guess, my attack. Ah, here we are. <sighs> Where the fuck are we? Guess you haven't really explored that far, have you? Not down here. I don't like to traipse down cliff faces. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, my boy. Did you need me? Gathering, you see a lot of places, especially when you're looking for certain things, especially things to make things. Um, Kylo was just looking for Arn a little bit ago. Um, but if you're busy, it's okay. It's not super pressing. No, I can show up. Um, okay. Well, I'm doing some training with um, <laughs> Lisa and Oshan right now, so it might be a little bit. We're outside of this city. Up a little later. Okay, cool. Thank you. Hey, Browns. Forcing her to go through all of this too, by the way. Well, at least tell me it's. Would you at least gonna tell me it's not a good view? It's not bad. How does this happen? Sorry, voices in my head. And what are you talking about? How does that happen? You know, sand doesn't pile like that up naturally. It's literally unplayable. <laughs> <clears throat> it's something all right. Pushing and pulling of the tides, but tell me, you can't tell me this is not a good view, though. It's not bad, if only the sun wasn't completely blinding for me. Though it is setting now, so... <laughs> Alright, you ragamuffins. That's a fun word I learned recently. Lisa, you may have been over this before with other training, but I'm going to go over it again. Just take it easy if you can. Don't stress yourself if you're already hurt. Oshan, all eyes on you. <laughs> all eyes on me? All eyes on you. Why me? Because you're the newbie. Funny enough, I'm actually trained. <laughs> In swords? T got teach by Rin, Angus, and, um, Harry. My brother in Christ, if you're trained in swords, I can't do shit. <laughs> I can't train you anymore. <laughs> this is more of just... I see. I'm sparring more with you, if anything. Fuck. But I'm willing to help out when I can. <sighs> and how, uh, Besides, well trained are you with swords? Are you gonna turn down some opportunity? Out of character, I think I've already told you this, but uh, currently, after not using a sword for over two years, I'm classing her as Militia. She well, was trained before, but she is very rusty. That's as far as I can get you. Let's uh, go over some basic movements just so we can warm up, right? I agree. So you were trained by Rin, right? 
Okay. He taught me a lot of his fighting, fighting style, and I've tried to incorporate it as best I can. Then if this I was a bit longer than mine, but teach you mine, then you should be able to adjust with two of them. Hmm? That is what I was hoping. So, when I fight, I stand in a duelist stance. Obviously, I'm flipped to you, but my front foot forward, my back foot on the back, tilted to form sort of a T. This was a, this will allow me to adjust my weight accordingly. I can lean forward, get the height advantage, or distance advantage, or lean back and prepare myself for some of the movements we're about to go through today. There are three main movements, each with their reverse counterparts. The first one of which is advancing step. Very simple, spring forward. This is used to close distance between you and your opponent. It's a very specific movement, and it's done in a way that stops you from being off balance at any given time. If you advance normally, there is a point where you are off balance as one foot is above the ground and the other is not. A good opponent will see this and knock you on your ass and you are dead. So it's a very simple, almost a skip. You lean back very slightly, very slightly, and then spring forward landing on your front foot. The ball of your front foot and the center of your back foot. That's the advancing step. And again, you're keeping your sword up at all times. You're not dropping it. You're not moving it. It's in the same position as it always is. Similarly, when you have your advancing step, you have your retreating step. It is that movement, but in reverse. So you shift your weight to the ball of your front foot and spring backwards. Just like that. Advancing, retreating. It's important not to lean too far forward or too far back. You're keeping your body parallel to the ground, so you still have your access to your basic strikes and blocks. A further note that a lot of people fall into is doing this. Leaning back before you advance step will tell your opponent, a good opponent, what you're about to do, and they'll be able to counter it with ease. So it's a very simple, quick movement, closing the gap or opening the gap. You're not jumping, you're not skipping, it's a very quick step forward. Very good. The next movement is, it will allow you to adjust your stance while also closing or retreating away from an enemy. It is called the passing step. It relies on the ball of your left foot, rotating around, and switching up positions. You notice as you do this, again, you're not off balance. You still have the same, exactly the same thing as the uh, advancing step. Your shoulders parallel to the ground, your back straight, your head up, your sword up. You're not compromising your position by doing this, but it allows you to adjust your stance if need be, while also closing the gap. Very good. Specifically good if you have a dagger. Similarly, it has a reverse movement, the reverse passing step. This can be used in either way to give yourself space and to switch up your stance. It's much like the retreating step, only your stance is changed. You can chain them together. Example, if you're already in this stance, you can retreat and do it again if you need to. So you can switch your stance while maneuvering around as well. And again, this is good to... If you have a secondary weapon, you can be using that, or if you need to take some time and move to a more guarded stance, that works too, while also giving you the space and thus the time you need to prepare for the next attack. Now, what if you need to adjust your stance and you have a wall behind you or somewhere you can't pass and you can't go forward? We do what is called the triangle step, where you move your back foot in line with your front foot, so you are squared with the enemy, and your front foot towards the back. You note that as we do this, 
we do it in specific m movements at one time. It's not all at once that will throw you off balance. It's one, two, three. One, two, three. You notice as you're doing this, you are shifting your stance, but your position in the battlefield stays the same. If you can't retreat, or you don't want to advance, this is the maneuver to do. So, as you go about your days, practice these movements, and they'll eventually become secondary. You can chain them together, and maneuver yourself around the battlefield, wherever you need to. All while keeping your guard up, your weapon ready, and keeping balance. This is the fundamentals of all fights, not just sword play, not just spear play, even unarmed. If you keep the basics right with your footwork, you'll be a much better fighter than someone who doesn't. Any questions? Not off the top of my head, that's incredibly helpful. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I never got to go too far much with my lessons with Rin, but he was alluding to much what you were speaking of, but I think yours is a little more fluid. Mm -hmm. More practical and stance-worthy. Mm. It yes. was exploiting, if anything, and being, a, I think, more of a, just a very hard target to hit. Yes, that's where these come in, to exploit the gaps. He, or... he always told me never to have an empty hand, mm -hmm. never always be focused on one, always think about what you could do with the other. Primarily, just while we're on this, if you have a dagger like this, you're in a fight with someone who outmatches you, or is quicker than you, grab the dagger and tilt your wrist so it runs along your arm. Hold it up, and you now have an entire side of you that can block. Remember to tilt it close to your wrist, just like that. You can focus on... This sword? Hmm. Normally it would, be, it would have this back here. I thought it was crazy talk, seeing as you would always want your sword pointed at some, but apparently this sword is designed for long, long, sw long swings, long cuts down due to basically it's the weight of its blade and the way it's shaped. Correct. You notice that you have only one edge, while my sword and Lisa's sword have two. Your cuts it will be a little different, and your stance might not fit the duelist's stance very well, but if you switch to a different weapon, or if you're just down to your dagger, this will work well. Those kind of uh, weapons are better for long, arcing, straight cuts, slashes. Mm -hmm. Whereas our swords, we have the back edge and the true edge. The true edge being the one you front towards the enemy. We can do back attacks. And we have the entire blade to work with, whereas yours is more... Not as versatile, I should say, but... Large arcing swings. Large arcing swings, yes. On that, since you're already quite well trained, if you match your swings with your advancing step, for an example, allow me to switch. Say I'm you, and you're in the off position. Match your advancing step with a cut. You've closed distance, and you've got more weight behind it. Whereas for someone like Lisa and myself, the advancing step is probably a good opening. We close the gap, rather than having to use our swing into it. Though you can as well, you don't have that back edge to do that, like we do. Unfortunately not. Hmm. I've thought about my sword, and I thought maybe something was different, but I think there was a reason why this was made for me. I trusted you and your father's vision, at least for what you, you gave me to defend my friends with, so... You'll feel it. While yours is... maybe a little shorter, you'll also find that yours is quite a bit heavier. Because of the extra weight behind the back edge that you can afford to have, rather than having a back edge, I should say. It's better against lighter weapons, such as a rapier, and it can do even some decent damage to a shield, if you know to hit right. Although I wouldn't recommend it. <clears throat> I've practiced a good bit on one of the dummies we have in the grove. 
Obviously, I've spent time and time again trying to perfect it as best I could. Arcing motions. Remember to rotate your wrist after the arc is complete. There you go. Follow through with your movements. This also comes into play with dagger work. When you fight with a dagger and you're fronting with someone, it's important to do your movement and then follow through and roll with it. You go down and across the body. That is if you're doing the guarded stance. It's a little different if you're the other way up. But still close. It's more slashing. Similarly to your sword. Though you want to get in and down, use the point. A dagger, would you assume that I would want to have it pointed or in the reverse? <sighs> reverse is better for being guarded. If you're on the back foot and you need to back away, having it up will get you out of there. If you feel you can overcome the enemy, getting in close, but also guarding yourself as much as possible. Remember to keep it up. Again, if you have the dagger down like this, while you're dual wielding, or something like this, you'll find yourself braced a lot more. Mm. Big, stronger attacks that might disarm you otherwise will help. But again, if you're just down to your dagger and they have something better than you with longer reach, you need to close the gap and be incredibly aggressive or break contact. There's no use sticking around in a fight if you know you're going to die. So. That's the basics of uh, at least how I've learned my sword play. Next, we'll go over some basic block patterns. But for now, footwork is the key fundamental parts. I felt that was always what I was lacking. I felt I always would always tense up. Mm. My legs would feel as if they were stones and I would just be sitting there, not moving a bit. Mm -hmm. it wasn't till eventually I got knocked down en enough times to where I started to finally move my legs. Keep your knees bent slightly as well, always. That way you have the springiness you need. You'll feel it flowing the more you do it. It'll hurt the more you practice, but, well, that just means you're doing well, it right. There's no such thing as a painless lesson, is there? <laughs> Pain is a good teacher, as Arn would say. Right before hitting me. <laughs> Forgive my forwardness, but what is your father like? I've sadly never had the opportunity to ever speak to him. A good man. Always tries to do what's right and just. Even sometimes to his detriment. He works hard. He loves me. He cares about his family. He's a good man. I never had doubt of that. You'll admit I had, I'll admit I had my suspicions at first when I had met him as Tazim. <laughs> there was something about him, an air about him, that just the way he walked, the way everyone talked to him. I never questioned it, merely just because it's not uncommon for a person to be well respected nor, or loved by his, by his community. To then find out, in, in full truth, I... I guess all I could do was smile. I, it, made, it made sense. It does. What about you? What about me? Ability doesn't feel like your suit, but it's not like you don't wear it well. <sighs> I wasn't born into it. I had to learn it. I've been behind the curve ever since... Well, I knew what I was going to be. So I work hard every day to try and reach that point that I will never reach, but what can you do? Some people spend their whole lives being groomed to become the next lord to take over. I had to condense it into, what, it's been four years now? Mm. So, a bit of a shock lesson, but here we are. Do you believe you are worthy? Of? That title. 
I've been told no one thinks that they're right, they're worthy. No one's ever ready, I suppose. Maybe I'm playing favorites, but I think you are. Keep doing your movements. Of course. Good, Lisa. Don't push yourself. You gain nothing by training yourself to exhaustion. That goes for both of you. Something the matter. I... There's a, always a discomfort, I suppose, with wielding this. I'll admit, maybe I, it's, I will make a poor swordsman, but I never intended to ever draw blood with this thing. Only disarm, defeat, maybe. Which is maybe just a fool's hope thinking I could play some hero. Has it drawn blood yet? I just don't relish in hurting. <sighs> yes. Sadly enough, those creatures in the grove were the first. And our, our landing man were the second. Hmm. They were hunting, I believe you've met him. Horst, I think, or if I recall... I'm well aware of Horst, yes. Good man. He's quite kind. Even better with a sword. Oh, yes. He's been instructing some of the wolves. They were... not accepting at first, but they think they realize that he is a far greater teacher than they had dared anticipated. So they're accepting of him. All right, I'm calling it there. No more. Do a little when you get home or in your spare time, but for now, that'll do. We can do a bit more tomorrow Tell if me. you want. At the end of these lessons, do I suppose have a spa from you at that point? <laughs> Would you like a spa? Not now. I don't think I'm quite ready, but <laughs> when time comes, I would like I would like to. Sure. For a while there, I was undefeated in we Nautus. Say you know a man more than you when they cross blades than exchanging words. I usually don't cross blades until I need to, but I think that'd be good. A lesson. I think so too. Thank you for all this. This is very helpful. Of course. Has also allowed me to focus my mind on other things. I always found uh, training with the sword is the best way to get your mind off other things. When I was learning, I used to go behind the water mill and train for at least two or three hours. It's a matter of just almost cutting trees. And... No more for today.
All right, you two. Let's get you back. Hope we don't have to use those new skills. Yeah. I right, for a bit of the more discreet, I guess, spot. Hopefully next time we'll have more flatter ground to practice on. <laughs> Makes things easier, but... Maybe next time Elle will join us, too. <sighs> yes, I do hope she does. She seemed, uh, worried when she asked me. She was speaking with that man. The one we've called Potion Seller. I... I don't know why she converses with him. And I... I don't ask. It's not my place, but... Do you trust her? Worry. With everything. Yes. It's rare that she does not confine with me. But maybe I should understand that everyone has a reason not to say certain things. Some paths we have to walk alone. Hmm. Unfortunately. I know. There are still some paths that you can at least have someone there with you. Hmm. what happens when you tucker yourself out. Get your back home. Come on. Do I have to climb that? Some branches along the path here made it easier <laughs> to climb the first time. <laughs> this is actually where Elen took me the very first day she met me. She had a lot of wanderlust, <laughs> and she grabbed Marco along with us. Carry you if you need it. Kyler, you'll notice there is a several kind of cuts or lines on this tree. You probably would almost count over about 50, so. Dare I ask? It's, um... How many days she's been gone? Oh. I come here every day. At least pay some respects to my master. She's not dead, but... I've felt lost without her for times. So I'm thankful that I'm surrounded by people like you. Hmm. Some gaps can't be filled, though. So greatly. I know.
You think we'll make it out of this? All this? What do you mean by all of this? The feeling, I guess, of being a rat in a corner. Surrounded on all sides. Nothing wrong with being a rat. If anything, evil looming around every corner. Keep up your footwork, maybe. So it lies down to me, hmm? <clears throat> Everyone's the master of their own destiny. I like that response. Some people get scared by it. Well, I guess I haven't had really a sense of grasping my own destiny, if you will. Well, maybe it's comforting to know that at least everything is within my hand. Or at least within reach, if I only but reach out to grab it. Playing things up to fate is... Well, I can't rely on it forever. We need a gardener or something. <laughs> the high royal gardener to trim the shrubbery. <laughs> Guardsman. Welcome back. presence of women to alleviate such vulgarness. And they cannot I suppose so. Like, mm, well, it's a good thing we have one of uh, one of our girls can cook. So that's good at mm, least. And can cook. We have schnitzel. And... <sighs> you uh, still on those lessons or are you busy now? I'll take those lessons. All right, let me find Tang and we can go do that. <laughs> Jobs never done. Hmm? Such is the life. <laughs> May it be ever so glorious. <clears throat> uh, if you've, well, if it's the Inquisitor, I think they finished already. Oh, well, if you already know that, then, uh, no fucking clue where they went with uh, that. Shit. You tried <sighs> either yep, of the houses. You, me, and Harry. Yeah. This is where our venture pops up. Sherbrooke. Alright, Sensei. I'll see you tomorrow. What the fuck is that? I'll see you tomorrow. She didn't let me in when I wanted to come uh, in. No. Oh, Sean? Is this how Have you seen is? Sarah anywhere? She, didn't let me she was around room. until about noon, where she had to go lie down. She might be back later, she may not be. She was back, was back. I'm just trying to find ah. her out. I saw her walking oh. around with Even that, like the Then I haven't seen her. You, go take a rest. You wanna go sit down? You need to go have a drink? Ah, one You wanna come on these lessons? Thing. I never know what to call him. Alright. I don't He's got like him. two names. Shriek, Kyler. Which one? Uh, they call. <laughs> they call me mitosis in prison. If you want to add to that. <laughs> what about Shyler? Okay, I have mm. two. How about steel just my lord? And, that works. and I have a work order. Weapon grips. You can you do something with that? Can you like make a sword or something? Uh, what do you have? Two steel ingots and a. And like a grip for it? Well, yeah, how Is that like enough out? to make a weapon? Dredge! I got connections. If you can get Remember one more steel ingot, I can enough. make you a short sword. Oh. Three steel ingots for a short sword? Correct. <laughs> thousand year old elven oh. Buried under Ish. the ground. 
I thought it was supposed to be half resources for steel shield. Three steel ingots, one weapon grip, one leather four. mask. It's actually good. For tomorrow, I need All right. an iron really plate you, for gloves. Uh, it's one iron miscellaneous. Oh, what would that be? Well, that's no, no, no. Uh, no, more than sting. I actually have it. Oh, okay. I do uh, have an iron miscellaneous lying around, though. Mm -hmm. So if he needs that for materials, just take it from my stock and let me know. Okay, thank you. Uh, God, I gotta find more. Alright, you three. He was looking for you for fucking an hour. I was taking you and him and him. You can guilt her for me. Thank you, Kyla. He, tut tut. Don't tut me. You know that's a real that's a real question. Also, I'm out of dagger now anyway, so I can't train. The man took it back. I have like three. You could have borrowed one. Tomorrow then. You need it. Come on, you three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, while everyone's here. I the, one. the place yeah, behind my stall is trapped with like a spike a pit. Don't go through this. I'm aware. Of them, but like one, one, oh, okay. Good. I avoided it. If you're willing to spare one, don't go in there. What? What happened to them? Yeah. don't step in. Going this way. Good. Fine. Great. You're gonna go around. Amazing. So good. Yes, we're gonna go around the punchy sticks. Just to spite you. Just to spite him. Fucking gonna just do Because he nearly killed three of our allies. Did you just take down his ladder? Oh yeah. What if he did? Oh, perfect moving target. Okay, this looks good enough. I've never seen him with this Mavenu before. <sighs> okay. In all the years I've known you, hmm? never seen you like that. <laughs> At least not for like four or five years. Does everyone here have throwing knives? Negative. I have a knife. Mm, it's not weighted properly. I assume you don't want to throw those. Fine, okay, here's one for the whole class. There you go, there's one. I want these back at the end of the class. There you go. There's another. There you go. There's another. Push yourself too hard, I'm gonna stop doing these lessons. Alright. You note that those blades don't really have much weight to them, and if you balance them on your finger, they are perfectly balanced in the center. This allows them to rotate better through the air. You notice that they are double edged, as a good dagger should be, and you notice that there is no pommel on the back of them. Using these in close quarter combat is a last resort. It can work, but I wouldn't recommend it. They break a lot easier, too. The gist of using a knife for throwing, and it is very different if you're using a regular dagger than you are an actual throwing knife, is to take into account the distance. And with that, you kind of need to guesstimate in your head how much rotation you need to give it. If you hit it with the back of the dagger, then obviously you're going to do jack shit. Similarly, these daggers will not do anything against armor, and it will barely work against leather, unless you really fucking hoof it. 
These are mainly for a distraction. Unless you know exactly what you're doing, or... Well, you're desperate. So aim for the face, aim for the neck, anything that could stun them for a moment for you to get away or do what you need to do. If you get really good at them, you can use them in an offensive manner. So, before the fight even starts, get a hit going. Or, sneakily, take someone out from range before you even need to get close. But for now, we're going to focus on the main parts of throwing and the stance that you need and the position of your body to get a good throw. Generally, you want to use your entire body like that. You're going to stand side on with the target. You have your knife with the blade down. Kind of pinch it between your middle part of your thumb and the middle part of your index finger. Rest it in the gap between your fingers. Then you want to do a big arcing movement and rotate your body around and over, like that. You need to move your body a lot more than you expect you will need to. A lot of people, when they think they take up throwing knives, they just flick their wrist. That is a good way of, one, missing your target, and two, not correctly placing the knife. It's all about the spin. Just like that. <clears throat> so, one at a time, I'm gonna get you guys to come up to this line here, and we'll throw these daggers and see how well you do. If you'll want to come up to me a little closer to the tree, that way we won't have to be retrieving them. <clears throat> Alright, we'll start off with Harry. Oh shit. Remember. Oh good. Big movement. Feel it more of a... A rotation rather than a flick of your arm. One fluid movement, and you'll feel the knife kind of leave your hand. Give it a shot. Hmm. Good, but you're still snatched a bit. Whole body. Don't, don't be afraid to end up down here at the end of it. Just for now, while we're training the basic movement, and while you understand the knife, don't be afraid to compromise your stance. Just for now. And then we'll get into the more quicker and easier throwing methods. Thing. <clears throat> there you go. Wah. You fucking hoofed it though. Hold on, my actual knife. <laughs> mm. Not bad. It's in the trees. It's so hard. I got on my backup. Lisa. Chat, do you want to roll uh, three d20s? And we'll go Harry, Tang, and Lisa. Hmm. <sighs> not bad. You'll be better when you're not exhausted. Give me a moment to retrieve these. I'm just going to do some vague rolls to see how well you do. I... Just for flavor. <laughs> Alright, I need one more. Okay. So, Harry <laughs> rolled a 1. This is going to be very strange to you, the movement as a knight and someone who's used to fighting. The idea of giving up your stance to achieve this is strange to you, and you're going to struggle a bit. Tang, you rolled a 2. This sort of minute movement and trying to get it 
without using your entire strength and punching the thing through the entirety of the tree is making it harder for you to get as good. Lisa, with an 18... You get the trifecta. Oh, shit. This is more your area. You are better suited for fast, quick movements. You don't wear heavy armor. You are... You know your way around a knife or two. Despite being exhausted, you will at least find the ability to sink it into the tree. Although you know if you were more alert, you could definitely achieve better. Alright, let's try again. Remember to use your whole body, not just the arm. Starts at the hips. I don't know where that went. Okay, Tang. Okay, well, the ground is dead. Lisa? No. <clears throat> Not bad. See how she used the whole body. As exhausted as she is. You know, I should probably be getting you guys to retrieve these, since you're the ones fucking throwing them. Thankfully, we have a bit of a well, backdrop. The yes, I know. The curriculum. Oh, well, Harry, you hit a tree. <laughs> Just not the one we're aiming for. Alright. Just so we can get through the movements a little quicker, I'm going to give all three to each of you at one time. And then you can retrieve them. Throw all three. Not at once, but after the other. Hopefully you'll feel how the knife leaves your hand and you should know how it kind of is going to be good or shit the moment it leaves your fingers. Have you ever thrown anything aside from knives? I threw a sword once. Wouldn't recommend it. Same principle, just bigger and harder. I did that too. Get a troll. Again, um, Sarah's probably better at this sort of thing. She's got a bit of a dead eye on her. If I can get her around tomorrow, she can give you guys much better pointers than I can. I just kind of feel it out. That one wasn't too bad. You actually hit the tree on that one. You should start feeling where the, uh, the weight of these knives are. <clears throat> Once you get this nailed down, I'll teach you guys some more underhanded tactics. Throwing from the hip. Reverse grip. And, and oh. Mm, that really surprises mm, enemies. That could be useful for what I'm trying to figure out. What are you trying to figure out? I might be able to point you in the right direction. Spearhead on my chain. I brought it up with you. Ah. Uh, that'd be strange. It would change the dynamics of the throwing. You wouldn't, oh, right, it wouldn't be able to... You wouldn't be able to spin. Over it. No, but you would more do one of... Probably one of those. Stop the spin, but if it's weighted, you... I'll think on it. I'll ask Sarah. It's probably better. Maybe I'll get your eyes on the design. Mm. See if we're able to do something about it. For now, though. Again, don't just rely on your arm and your elbow. Use your whole body from the hips. Well, if there's one thing I got, it's hips. Yes, you do. <clears throat> Decent grouping. You're at least hitting the same sort of area. It's just not where it needs to be. So take that into account next time. Counter it. <clears throat> I wonder what happened if I just throw a fistful of these. You'd hit something.
Not bad. You're still snatching a little bit though. Take your time. She's holding her breath. Yeah, since she's rushing through it. Alright, we'll go down the line once more, and then we'll call it a day. I think it's getting a little uh, late for some of us. Much better. That is a marked improvement of your last throw. Good. Could be better. You're definitely improving. I think these main points of squaring your body and using all of it is definitely a marked improvement than when we started. Still got a bit to go though. There is hope for you, yet. Good. When you're throwing, make sure it's overhead so that you get it down the center. If you go too from far from this side, you start either going that way if you release it too late, start spinning to, uh... or that way if you go too early. You get it. <clears throat> Got it. It's physics. I figured he'd mention something like that. Something about physics or... or um, Maths. If Why? that's if that's how you Why understand you it, it's just a very you thing. It's a joke. Mm. Very me thing. Take your time, Lisa. Okay. I think that's going to do training for today. So what happens if you push yourself too hard? You're twisting too much on an injured body. Yeah, get us some food, get us some water, lay it down. That's yours for tonight. It's a throwing knife. And that's yours. If you get bored, just do a little bit of training. I want them back in the morning though. She doesn't get one. <laughs> All right. What she does get is picked up. Yes. Get her to bed. You can't no no you me put this order? time. You collapsed. Yes. I'll make some for you. Okay, let's see how much that would cost and such. Uh, 
Cool. Yeah, for three silver AT, I can get you two throwing knives. Actually quite cheap to make. Need you to sit down. Fantastic. Well, practice with that tonight, and tomorrow evening I'll have those done for you. All right. I'll be practicing on this, and I'll try and show you a design for what I was thinking of. You got it. I'll try and get um, Sarah tomorrow to actually give you guys some good pointers. Until then. Give her some time anyway. If I recall as well, you wanted to fight me with a shield. <laughs> tomorrow. I was going to say that anyways. <laughs> episode are we? 68? 66? No. Mm. Wait, so 68 tomorrow. busy day. Just a quick question, does Brunz look like he's, like, busy busy? He walks. Hello, Shriek. It's good to see you. It's been a while. Oh, two in one! Lottie is doing the thing. Hi. Hi. Perfect. It's the first time we've met in <sighs> weeks, feels like. Been a while. Is that him? That is him. What? He's you want to go drow. talk to him? He is. He's a drow knight serving the old lord. I did that. 
A wandering one. That's so cool. Mm. Serving no lord. Ooh. Mmm. Mysterious. Almost. Claims to be all too. I'm gonna talk to him about the underdark. Um. I think what? he was born down there. I think so too. No, I've talked to him actually. He wasn't very forthright with it, but I'll be right back. Do you think? Um, if you go to bed, good night. I'm going to come and find you. Please don't leave. I'm sorry. I've been so fucking busy. I was uh, over the border. It's a mess. Yeah, I That's bet. Where the loss is like a prison state right now. All the armed military walking around, keeping tabs on everyone. Martial law or not quite that far yet? I would say probably an equivalent. Oh, it's quite easy. Do they feel threatened? It's, uh, it's got pretty badly on my face, and so it's it's quite nice to find somebody who actually. That's one way to put it. I'm not sure exactly what it is that threatens them, but they're not very happy. Are they ever? <laughs> and um. Strange thing is, though, for the first time in. I don't even know when. It might even be the first time. There's rumor that there's a drow emissary in, in the capital. And not being tortured, I assume? No. I don't know what they're talking about, but I did hear that. It's a miracle I wasn't spotted, though, coming in and out. I didn't realize how tight security was. Well, the emissary that was over here has gone missing, supposed to be dead. I had I figured there'd be a bit of an uproar. I also heard a rumor that he's back in Esmeralda Loss. But... I don't know how valid that is. It doesn't seem to have a source to it. But he could be dead. I heard a couple of things today, actually. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I have a reliable way of contacting my uncle now. Good. I can feed him information. Good. I'm going to... I'm, I'm assuming it's already catching like wildfire over there, but I'm going to send him information about the emissary. He needs a push, a shove, to... Take control, and the emissary being missing, I think that's all the shove he needs. Fill in the gap. That'd be good to have him here. I also heard that they fucking took the emissary to the goddamn crow. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Apparently. And then they let him live. He had a head wound and didn't remember. Faye's mm. naivety will be the downfall of them, I swear. <sighs> Not to mention... Fuck. To fill you in. I don't know if your father told you already, but someone in our inner circle sold me out to the Inquisitor. Sold my arm out to him. I didn't know that. Only a few people know. Fang included, actually. I'm trying to figure out who it is. We have a pretty good lead. Or a couple of leads. I'm following up on them. Did you happen to pick up my backpack? Me? No. I left it out there. You know a few things. It was some one that was treated inside of the clinic the day that Corano happened, or at least when inside the clinic the day Corano happened. <laughs> Sorry, Corano, I keep saying Corano. Um, no, the day we retook Cosetto. There was a crumbled up note left in the bed, in a bed of someone who was being treated. Detailing all this, and um, 
we know it has to be someone that doesn't know my real name because of the contents of the letter, but knows about the R. Turns out the only way I can help myself is if I get my hands on the same metal that you're made out of. Oh. Hold on, someone's trying to... A god is speaking to me. I think I have an idea. But that's if we can't find any. Makes sense. That's the hard part. Apparently Miss Memelorian is our best bet. I'm not taking pieces of you. No, I refuse. It, mm. I refuse. You are an asset. It is necessary that you yeah, stay I, completely intact. I get it. I, this, this isn't me being like aggressive. This is me being sassy. I get it. <laughs> but if it'll help you, I know that not we all don't. of this is essential. So. We don't even have a forge, or a master forge worker. Exactly. If that opportunity arises, we are short. I'll fall on the sword Thanks. for a bit. Now, in exchange, you regret it. I'm, gonna need you to, I'm gonna need you to look at a design for me. Alright. Trying to make a throwable. Yeah, something. Sorry about that. What were you saying? Able to point out where the best weight is. Um, I think you were saying honestly. <clears throat> like on a knife. I don't remember what. Um, one of the inner circle left a crumpled note yeah, in the um, in the clinic. Doesn't know your real name. Knows about the. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying to. Th Think of who. I'm just gonna show you in this. With the description, but I can't off the top of my head. So hopefully, Lottie is getting me the, the list, and I'm going to cross reference that. I know who that is. Also, just. Please do. It would be much appreciated. What? If we find out who that is, we're gonna have to. Yeah, I can only get so far, but you're a lot. You're a lot better than me at it. Sorry, don't mean to interrupt. Both of us together. At the very least. Do really well. Yeah, I'm going to be picking both of your brains as of how to make this thing work. The issue is that I really am getting sick of people running away from me. I can throw knives fine, but he wants to throw something else, kind of, and I don't really know how that would translate. Which I, I have think... never fucking thrown a spear, but sure. good luck. Yeah. Have fun. <clears throat> I've never thrown right. a spear, but we can try. I usually figure it out after a couple of weeks. You will see the drawing of what looks like a very short, isolated spearhead on the end of a chain. That's interesting. If used in the right circumstance, it seems like it could be used like a grappling hook as well. Points out, curves back. The issue is that you can't rotate it when you throw it. So you'd have to do a straight throw, and that's more your thing than me. Right. Yeah. Precision. Mm-hmm. Mm. We can try, as long That's as you get it built. I mean, it'll be fun to learn. I've never seen something like that, so. Might be able to get the... I might be able to get a working wooden prototype for it. Maybe. That works just as fine. It's like a combination throwing knife grappling hook, so it's very... We Weird. could at least use it to understand the mechanics, but until we build it out of metal, we won't know how yeah. heavy it will be and how durable it will be, how much force it will take on the backswing. Yeah, agreed. <sighs> I, I'm gonna let you deal with that. My backpack is outside in the middle do, of the road. Do your thing, yeah. <laughs> I left it. Listen, I took it off so that I'd have a better spin and I wouldn't just... Yeah, I'll, I'll be back. I ran into Vezrin about the drugs you wanted uh, given to him, and uh, I found nothing. Currently. I have to nothing? Wait. Oh. I oh, have oh. to wait. Oh, I see. <laughs> I have to wait. 
him. <sighs> okay, that's no problem. Scrungles. Scrungles. Hi. Hi, little baby. Oh, he's a little guy. Look at him, little guy. I love he's him. just a little guy. He makes me oh. happy in this cruel I love his world. Little I'm so glad that is canonized. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you Thank seen you. Marin around? Yeah, yep. Yeah, briefly by the tavern actually and recently. Why? Did you need to talk to me or are you just coming to say hi? No, I came to hang out because I'm fucking sad. Why are you sad for? You make me feel better. Cuz my life's falling apart and I'm fucking blowing my friends up wow. and fusing into walls and I can't help myself wow. and I have to rely on the help of a fucking man. <laughs> yeah, that you was know a how tough frustrating it is? Do you know how frustrating it is to go from free-thinking drow to finding out that it's either die or go back to being enslaved, pretty much? <laughs> but unlike last time... You're in charge of him. We'll make some cute bracelets I have to listen to everything he says. Until you get what you need, and then... Oh, they're gonna be fucking amazing. And they're gonna jingle a little bit. No, they're not. That's a bad idea. They're not gonna jingle. I'm gonna have one on this arm and one on this arm. Big bangles. I can see that. But then... What if I catch fire, like, on the inside? Well, that's what those extra chain links were for, right? Oh, he's getting the fuck out of me! Consequential stuff. That's what those extra links were for. I miss when you used to go. Woot, woot. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I don't. No, that sound still happens. Just sometimes you can't notice it because you're already in the middle of a conversation or you're occupied with a particular task. It's called perceived stuff. What are you doing? I don't know. You're very good at active stealth. I'm good at perceived stealth. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. What the fuck? Oh, I crouched. I hit control. Wait, where'd she go? What the fuck? Where'd she go? Must have been the wind. Pickpocket attempt. <laughs> Pickpocket <Rolling>. attempt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Twelve, you're good. <laughs> we get in trouble. No, no she took his turn. <laughs> Oh no, Scrungle's uh, gone. Must have been the wind. At least she didn't take your necklace. She would not. Dare. Oh, no, no, never. Watch that. <laughs> With a temper pool. Alright, um. Oh, now you in a second. I need to find uh, your girlfriend's coming. <gasps> I'll talk to you later. Okay? Oh, this is yeah. about bangles. Um, I'll make bangles. Does it have to be with a, a, a thing? Oh. I will explain that when I am not. Uh, what was the talk with uh, you and Sorry, Basil? Was there. it about their pairs? No problem. Uh, the price for crossbow. <clears throat> Marin. Oh, Got a second. Mm -hmm. Oh, a whole bow and everything. Right. That was a curtsy, but go on. Sure. I heard a rumor recently um, that you could make something interesting out of spider silk. Some uh, new form of boots. Is that true? You will see chain mail. Ooh. Morning got that repaired. Mm. Where are you so, for protection? It's uh and I feel as if it's almost like a one of a kind thing. All I need right now is a really? need to do so Ooh. <laughs> There's something in the process of <laughs> sorry. But it's not to put that Well, there's something about it. Um I might need to do a little bit of research. And what if I get back to you on it? Sure, yeah. However, if... as far as I've... 
If it's something you can do, seek me out and I'd be willing to pay you a lot. I'm sorry, you can just need to swing her around. Understand. Oh, well, I, I guess to fill you in, it's considered a work of a mastercraft, almost. Uh, almost in unreplicatable. And I might have to see whether I can do it again. And, um, I'll get back to you on the Nagi. Sure. Seek me out when you know. Of course. Have a good one. And make sure she won't come down. As to you. During the fight, <sighs> we're going to be. Oh, she's all, obviously going to have a wooden blade. Mm -hmm. uh, so I suggest you find it. I'll be able to pad okay. my weapon so she's not hurt. <sighs> Might have got to the business with the yeah, mer uh, mercs. So if you ever need like somebody to help you do something. Really? Feel free to hire me. Appreciate it. Yeah, but clearly it wasn't. Just thought I'd let you know. Sounds good. What? I'm not getting when I say that you and... I'm not getting when I say that you and a few others are not the only ones that have given me advice about me and Basil. <laughs> Which I am going to take that very heavily tonight. Oh no! Come on, <laughs> chin, chin up. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I need it. I definitely yeah. need. As a matter of fact, I want to see if there's anyone in front of the infirmary just so that I can let them know a little bit earlier where I'm heading in. <laughs> okay. Sure, sure. Hey, man. Good luck. Apologies, Mr. Shriek. Could I get got you anything? I already got it. I left uh, 20 coffer on the counter. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Apologies. I, uh, I just... Ah, don't worry about it. I'm no thief. But I didn't mean to... Would you like to do the sparring? <sighs> Uh, sure. We can spar, um, anywhere. Whatever you want, whatever you like. Interesting. Oh, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Maybe just like a friend of all my Whatever you do, you're a busy bitch. Mm. Can't blame you. Oh my. I could just take him there and hold him over the ledge. I think I should get the point of that. That's true. I <laughs> myself to come in because as far as I can fix myself to come into town. Ah. <sighs> Ooh. I don't know because you keep seeing us going Fixie. in town and coming back. Even Imperials are here when we're all fine. Did you hear any incidents? <laughs> Your friends. With the border guards today, by any chance? Yes, I was informed about them. Mm. 
apparently trying to exercise their it's pretty. Just say power. <laughs> we'll just we're fiction all, all right. it just get in there. He was at least 500 meters away from there. the wall. Come on. When we found them. Come on. Get in there. Probably will feel Move better. Move 500 meters is still too close for some of them. Not over the border, though. Not threatening the border. It depends. <clears throat> Time to flee. Uh, depends on who they report to. Did you drop your bread? I shouldn't be on this no, side in the, to begin you. with. You wouldn't dare take my bread, no. would you? Mm. Which makes it curious. No, he's just teleporting really far away mm. behind you constantly. They're getting antsy, it seems. <laughs> just figure I'd let you know if you didn't already know. There you go, it's okay, back on you now. Yes. There's also okay. a name I want to confirm. Go ahead. That is his trusted. <laughs> Vezrin Morgul. What about him? Do you trust him? There you go. Bread on. Sure. That already ain't Dory. Okay. Because I was telling the Thane, the Longbeard, that uh, a certain someone was dragged is really into the busy forest. today. That yeah, part the of entire the forest. fucking forest in here. And they both reacted uh, about what I like, expected, yeah. saying that so they're talking about the twigs in your hand. You mi you miss the Kelzones. Who was dragged into the forest? I'm hoping as a friend. The what's? There's a cow zone. The one that was reported missing. Have you ever seen a pizza? Oh. What the fuck is a pizza? Mm. What is right. a pizza? You know what a tomato is. So. Of course I don't. What's a tomato? I simply want to know is he trusted by I'm it? I'm kidding. I trust Otherwise, Vezra. I might like, have to deal with yeah, the You make like a uh, sauce with the tomato, and basil, oregano, I trust and Vezra. some garlic in there as well. Uh, and, you know. And then you get that oh, on some. No blood to be spilled dough? there. And you take the dough. Normally, if it was a pizza, you put it in oh, the oven and, and there's then this put some cheese and stuff. Wandering stuff mainly. around Tiberius, and then that'll be the, the, the pizza. A wandering pizza. night. Now, calzone's the same thing, but instead of like you know having mm. an open face, you can fold of it over. Yeah, that's on you don't have an oven in there, mm. so mm. I just kind of like put it in a pot. It didn't really work a perfectly night. well, but you know it, it, it made do. Oh. Mm. So it's <laughs> like cheese. Sandwich. Oh. He would Baked certainly add sandwich. another. Cheese and tomato race. There was mushrooms in as well. Oh, and mushrooms. To make a stone oven at home. It appears. Oh, oh another drown. That is exceptionally dangerous. Hmm. What? Why? Yeah, I figured huh. that too. I've spoken to him. He seems good company at least. It's a fire hazard. Good company for now. For now. It's not like it's like dead wood. Pretty sure you, you'll be fine. True. Well, if you can source the stone for it. The person who was the one selling was Wainwright. Wainwright had also sold a dread knife stabber. Passed it off to someone else. Didn't want that when I heard it coming, but probably means he's got ties to them somehow. Or at least one of their suppliers, so. Thank you for telling me. I'll keep that in mind. And if we're up. If the three of us are doing this kind of work, even somewhat regularly, I have a feeling that's going to be something we're going to want to be aware of. <clears throat> I agree. <laughs> I just told him he was an honorary drow. <laughs> Does this mean I get to join Just needs to run time? faster. <laughs> I mean, oh, technically. <laughs> Most of the drow time has ended up pretty rough. Uh, yeah. That is an understatement, for sure. God. Hmm. 
Sarah, let me run a name by you. Hmm? Still need pants? Get the full kit and kaboodle? I like pants. How much are the pants? You get it. Sixteen? You like naming things. Fuck. If I didn't have to buy a uh, person in the next couple days, I would. Do, do you like naming things? If you still have them. Yeah. yeah. Really? Thank you. Appreciate it. Unless it needs a name. I'm buying more pants. Then you'll have the full kit. Joyous thing? Spider silk. Oh, okay. You can have a full yeah. set after that. <sighs> I'm trying oh. to speak to you. Um, Marco is the only Sarah. merchant in the entirety of my existence that has actually ever got me everything that I Sorry wanted to back to back to back. Without trouble. You um, got that extra money huh? I put in your purse last night, right? Sorry. Yes. Okay, good. That. Just make what sure. happened? I told Shur I told Sh you just reminded me. I told Sharik about this, but you're probably gonna really want like hearing about this. <laughs> Spoken with Mary. Uh, she can make a set of spider wait. shoe. How did Oh. I actually nope. talked to her today about it, and there's rules regarding it that she needs to check before she can make more than one set. Ah, oh, okay. So, yes. Oh, I, <clears throat> um, I think I know those rules. It would be considered a masterwork item. Oh, well. So. Because uh, I had oh, the well. same fucking thought. <laughs> I was like, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna get you a set right. too. Bonus, oh well. Maybe yeah. not. We'll see what she says. I wonder if, if it I turns out she can make more than one. Yeah. If she can make more than one, we'll set you up with a pair. She's gonna get back to me tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh well. But, you okay? Yeah, don't worry about it. What I was talking about was just trying to figure out a name for this thing I'm designing. <laughs> Fuck no. What does it do? It looks like you were zoning off. Well, it spears people, and it hooks them in. So I was thinking of calling it it's a spear It's hard hook. to maintain any thought process. Especially after what the potion seller said. Uh, yeah, I it's... bet. A lot to take in, huh? I just feel hopeless. It's essentially the fusion between a grappling hook and a jab. We have a lead. A lead into binding so myself, like dark. shackling yeah, myself, or dying. That's a thing. <clears throat> Stopping you from exploding. It's a really fucking weird weapon. I've Maybe that's what's meant to happen. Re it's only ever used in the so arenas so. by some of the more flashy fighters. It's a really hit or miss kind of weapon. Says my creator, Honestly, I guess. <laughs> Don't let it be your whole fucking shit. Never taking you for a defeatist. I, no, just, I was just going to use it to make sure that nobody runs away from me. I've had a great work I just on my ass because they ran away from me. I wonder what it would have been That's like if... Well, I've seen some gladiators. I don't know, I grew up with a family. Twirl it? If I wasn't a No, they, they try to fight with it. Like what kind of person would weapon. I be? They get bodied pretty quickly. I think about that too this sometimes. Like, like, anywhere from this big to. I don't know. They're a little, it's one of those. You know like a, your experiences make you who you are. You know? For better or for worse. Uh, nothing wrong here, but, but shape. <sighs> Alright, over here. Think of them like the thickest part of that pylon. I just can't keep my head <sighs> straight. Ever since. It's like a dark more than a spearhead. Ever since those flames nearly missed you by an inch, I just I keep zoning I mean, out. I've seen one that looks like a spearhead, but the guy died before he could use it. I don't know what to do except drink and smoke. That's usually what no, gets me to so, calm something more so like this is what I was down. thinking. Except stay. <laughs> Nothing else just, was Flares out at two hooks. Unfortunately, I mean, there's not really a solution. For just what you're intending it to use. Yeah. I'm just saying. Don't, Is there? Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna be flashy with it. I'm not very flashy anyway. Yeah. Just figure it out. Run I, I can't explain it. It's like I. I try to yeah, be in the moment, part. but. 
I just noted. I keep thinking about everything <laughs> that has happened that could happen. I understand that. <clears throat> Obviously not in the same sort of area as yours, but The struggle's never going to stop. It's going to be a long time before those bracelets are made. Then I'll suffer until then. And then even after the bracelets are on, the suffering hasn't even really begun. I'll be happy that I can't hurt anyone. But I'm going to have to deal with it. Internally. For who knows how long. I could combust. Like, why was I even born? For your hood be put on your head. And head pat. Mm. <clears throat> For now, I think you should probably just relax. Or at least try to. <clears throat> The last time I relaxed, I was in the grove. You can do the math on that. I sleep, but I'm still tired when I wake up. I just can't stop thinking about it. The consequences. You couldn't have known. He certainly didn't fucking he tell just you. Tell me the truth. <laughs> right? Why couldn't he just be honest with me? Hey, you're fucked. You need to keep these shackles on, or you're going to kill people and yourself. It's the kind of Why is it so is. hard to just be fucking honest with me? Uh, because people like keeping secrets. It gives them power. It wasn't his secret. If you know something, it's somebody else. If you know something and somebody else secret. doesn't, it means that you have something to hold. If I get what? someone hurt, or worse, killed, I'm going to... I'm going to do something about it. Whether that's go away for good. Or shackle myself again. Living with this anxiety is not living at all. These things happen during combat or something intensive. They don't just happen randomly. When I have to focus. So, if you know that at least, you know it's not just gonna explode in the middle of the tavern or while you're sleeping or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it hasn't yet. It has never interrupted me when I am doing what I do best. And that is infiltrating and stealing. <clears throat> what happens if... Well, then. I don't even know. There's so many horrible things I can imagine happening. I can't promise that I'm going to be composed 24-7. It's not realistic. What if someone pisses me off and I just erupt? What if I am enjoying 
a drink with friends and I'm laughing and I get too excited and I freeze someone to death? What if I'm sleeping and I have a nightmare and the man I'm sleeping next to, he erupts into flames like what? I can't exist like this. We would do everything we can. If I was can. meant to be a creature. You all should not have to put up with it. It's not I've have to. I've dealt with enough of my shit. We get to. Be one. We get to be around you, Sarah. People like you. People like being around you. People like your company. <clears throat> We care about I you. I can't imagine why. <laughs> That's not to ask. Well, I'm going to tell you this. <clears throat> if that is something that bothers you that much, and I think I know what you were alluding to back there. I think you might be able to put together something temporary to at least give you some kind of comfort. Based off of everything I've learned so far. It might not be a permanent make. thing. Locking it away made it worse. Not trying to. What I'm suggesting is a safety net. Something to catch it. Not hold it. Has your dad returned yet? Not yet. I know full well what happens whenever you try to bottle something up behind a closed door. Okay. So. You doing alright? If it'll help, we'll see if I can do something. Mm -hmm. Otherwise. Not at the expense of yourself. I did I not? No. I'm not. She's not into you, Dredge, letting her know that she had to reprimand it, so it's done. You guys heading out to the grove? Jesus Christ. Yeah, say that loud. Welcome to the gaggle. You, I guess, I'm guessing you're yeah. whispering. You're so quiet. You're surrounded. You're heading out. This is okay. an intervention. <laughs> yes. Sarah, yeah. Sarah, that's why, that's why I was looking so for your... I just fuse through the wall and leave. Hold real quick. But, I've been um, to talk to you. Give me one second. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'll probably. Him well, if he wants no, to seriously. come out to home, you know where it is. Um. He said he would be definitely. He said back. he would. No matter what uh, I was told if about you him. say you're looking yeah, for him, he might be able to. I've known you long enough, and I will help okay, you. Like okay, him. give me one second. I want to. Uh, I can go see uh, Torty real quick. I'll I need. Do my part. Yeah, we'll be I'm here. I'm gonna come right thank back you, here. I'm gonna go thank. I'm gonna go but thank Torty real quick. And, uh, Just get me updated. <laughs> Oh, I will. Guess where we're going tonight. Just don't do anything ridiculous. Huh? Guess where we're going tonight. Oh, I will.